in today's video, man, I want to talk to men and women about why you should avoid getting your get back after somebody supposedly does you wrong in a relationship. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'll tell you, first and foremost, trying to get what people call their get back is going to cause you a lot of tribulation, going to cause you a lot of pain, going to cause you a lot of regret, and oftentimes, your approach to getting what you call your get back is oftentimes sin, okay? You know, let me give you an example. I like to stick to biblical adultery because we can define it according to the word of the Most High Yah. Cheating and adultery do not have the same etymology. They don't have the same meaning but people try to use this word, you know, interchangeably holding people accountable to cheating, but the Most High Yah is not holding you accountable to cheating. Biblical adultery is defined by the status of a man. When David took the other man's wife, it was because she was in a covenant with a man. You don't see nowhere biblically where Abraham, Moses, the patriarchs that had multiple wives, that had concubines, you don't find that the Most High Yah ever holds them guilty for adultery. Solomon, who had the most out of all, he was never found guilty of adultery, but the Most High Yah did call him on the fact that out of all the women he had, he chose the wrong women. He chose idolatrous women. So I'll, I'll, I'll start the foundation off with that. But in this context of men and women justifying their actions based upon being hurt and trying to get even, let me tell you what happens. Your man has another woman, okay? Married or not married, I'll tell you him, as long as he is laying down with a woman that doesn't belong to another man, i.e. not married, that's not sin, that's not adultery. But I'll approach it from, I understand that the average woman would be hurt by that, okay? I want you to realize, biblically, a lot of, a lot of men and women need to go back and study, you need to get a concordance or a lexicon. Abraham, you know, Moses, Solomon, men that were counted as righteous, they weren't asking their women for permission to have another wife or a concubine. A concubine is not a harlot. A concubine is not a hoe. A concubine is a status just below a wife, but she is covered. She does belong to a man, okay? So there are women out there that are hurt because their man has another woman and you are just, how could he do this and how can he do that? You will victim shame him, how, you know, he did this, hold him to that account. But when it suits you, you will try to get you some get back, but you won't victim shame yourself for going against them same principles. All bets are off. And a lot of women, you don't realize in their get back, you know, they are, especially if you're a married woman and you belong to a man, just because you're hurt does not make you no longer belong to him. The minute you lay down with another man, you are an adulterous woman. And a lot of women in doing this act, you know what happens? They ended up 
bringing a child into this world by another man who really not is not interested in them. And then they try to force this baby on the man saying, well, you should do this. And it's like, the Most High Yah says vengeance is mine. So rather just continuing to maintain your dignity, your righteousness, your Ruach, you chose to play with demons as a woman. And it's gonna backfire on you. Men out here, even though I said what I said based upon biblical, you know, doctrine and, and, and sound doctrine, having understanding, man, let me tell you, let me let me tell you something. Man, a lot of you men are not even qualified to have the woman that you have because of the wickedness in you. And your woman could be out here doing y'all knows what. And because you are hurt, man, you go out here and try to get you some get back. And on both ends, the same thing can happen. Now you have a woman that doesn't really care about you bringing a child into this world. And she chose that as an opportunity to exploit you because you were in a vulnerable state and the only thing you were thinking about was getting you some get back. Now, there, 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 there's hardly any chance of surviving that just because of the length of, excuse my French, bullshit that two grown people that say that they believe have partaken in. And I'll tell you this, you know, it's a difference between a man saying, hey, I'm gonna take another wife and his woman knows about it. I'm not saying he's gonna ask for permission, but there's a difference between you being deceptive and, and, and trying to get your get back and all the foolishness that you might be involved in as a man. Saying you're here, but you're really over there. Like, like your word really doesn't mean anything. And the goal is, out of this video, I want you to realize, man, you truly need to evaluate when you have that urge to get you some get back because that's nothing but Hasatan speaking to you. You need to be still in that moment. As, as bad as that hurt is, you need to be still in that moment because while you're in a highly emotional state, you're not gonna make good decisions and you will live to regret those decisions as a man or a woman. There's people out there dealing with this. Man, I, I, I lost my wife or I lost my husband and I just wanted them to realize that, that they couldn't treat me like this. So I tried to get some revenge. And next thing you know, man, I, 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 didn't, I didn't brought a child into this world as a man or I, I'm pregnant as a woman and my husband is like, he is shut off from me. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you need to, uh, you know, ask yourself, do you want to be in the same light as you just levy charges on somebody else saying that they were worthless and a piece, and you go right behind them and move in that same energy? Doesn't that make you a hypocrite? So I tell you, man, there, there's a lot of dignity and the ability to be able to maintain your Ruach, your spirit, when you don't try to get that get back and you say, you know what, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna entertain that. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather part ways than to go down that path of trying to get even because I'll tell you, you ain't never gonna get even and just the pain is gonna get worse. You're gonna get yourself deeper in a hole trying to get even playing tick for tack, never works. Closer to Yah Ministries kicking it gun barrel straight.